Hello there, can I help you at all? Hello, I'm looking for some prescription sunglasses after having my eye test. Right. Um, this is our range. You can see there's a decent range. Let's try some on. Any that you try on, can you please put them in the tray? I've got one on the table. Um, what I need to do, due to the regulations, I need to clean them before they go back. Okay. All right. So you've just tried that one on, haven't you? Yeah. What was your thought of that one? I really like the the finish. Right. I'm just worried about the lens size. Yeah, let's have a look. As a normal pair of spectacles, it would be perfect. My concern with those as a sunglass, the sun can get in across at the top and through the back at the sides. So I would say that that isn't the best design for a sunglass. Okay. Even though it is one. Well, those are nice. They look really good on you. They're a good eye size. They're a good fit on the width. And they do work well. They're bigger, aren't they? Yeah. It's more protection. I'm looking yeah. to wear them when driving as well. That, that is a good size for driving. I like this bit here. And the pads are... Well, the pads are quite flush, aren't they? They're comfortable yeah. as well. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's a really good option for you. So I'd put that as a yes. On, a, on there, face up, because you that one's a yes. Well, this is very similar. Yep. But it looks very unique. It's actually, it's the name for that frame, it's called a cable beach. And when you look at the sides, they look like they're made from cables. They're easy to adjust and it's also got what looks like a cable across the bridge as well. That again, a good eye size and for you a good width. I think that one's possible. They look a bit crazy. I think those, because they wrap around, I think they'd be a bit tight for you as well. They look a little bit feminine as well. What about the top one? That one's actually a Ray-Ban. Very sturdy. Yeah. That's a good eye size. A good fit on the width. Across here, it's just touching your head, which is perfect. So it gives plenty of grip. Is there enough eye size? Definitely. For the protection? It's going to be far too small for you. Now these are children's. Oh dear. We've got children's on here. There's three or four pairs on here for children. Let's have a look at something a little bit different. What do you think about those? That's worth a try. They look more of a wraparound style. They are, yes. Oh, look at those. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. With the thick side, that would offer protection from shadows across your eyes instead of but remembering it'll feel a lot different. Can these be adjusted? Just adjusted at the side? They can. What do, how do they feel? They're a good eye size because of the wrap around they won't I feel as I'm seeing too much at the bottom. I'm catching the bottom of the the frame right. there. So if that would be a no then wouldn't yeah. it? Maybe one more. Let's okay. try this the Brighton Shield. Can you adjust the pads for me, please? Okay. 
So again, they give good eye coverage, but they they do sit quite high because you've got the bridge across the bridge has got the sun spec as well. And I'm seeing the bottom a little bit too much for my liking there. Right. Yeah. But again, because we've got the high pads, the actual pads on the bridge, I'm just going to make this sit a little bit lower. That might make all the difference. It's better. Looking you can okay. see your eyes are actually, I can just about see your eyes and they're right in the middle of the lens. So that would be a good option if it feels comfortable enough. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else you want to try on? I think we're sport for choice there. There's four pairs, isn't there? Yeah. I think what we need to do is have a seat and go through these. We'll sit at the table with a mirror. You can have a look at them and sit at the same height. We can look and see better how well it fits. Right. Okay, thank you. Right, so we've got the spectacles that you've chosen. What we need to do now is select through these particular spectacles to find which ones will be the best for you. We, at the moment, looking at the frames, after we've chosen the frame, we can then start to look at what lenses to use. All right. So start with the first one. And if you have a look in the mirror and see what you think, because if you don't like it, it's pointless asking my opinion. It's a little bit straight there. Yeah. Anything else about it? So it's good to give me your negatives and your positives. It just feels a little bit lopsided style-wise. It's fine. It's quite weighty. Well, we don't actually use the frames that are on the display. We order the frame in and get it glazed up at the same time. So it would just be a case of you tell me what you want, then we'll work out the lenses with your prescription, and then I'll send the order off and they'll come back to me complete. Yeah, I'm interested in these. I like the colour. All right. The gold, I think it goes well. Yeah. And it's nicely offset with that cable across the bridge, mm -hmm. instead of being just gold. Yeah. So that's still a positive. We'll keep that one here. Now this one. This one has to be specially made because it's one piece. And that might be more of a problem for you. Because what they actually do when they glaze this, they have a split at the middle here, right where that bar is. So I can be aware of... You may actually notice it, yeah. Well, not, not so much when you're that. looking through it. I'm not aware of that as it's no, there. No, it's when you look through, when, for example, you look in a mirror, you see the joint between the two lenses. I'm not too keen on it now, I think it's too narrow. All right. So we'll discard that one. Thank you. Now this one is a Mary Jim frame. Mary Jim actually advertised that they're the best sunglasses in the world. Knowing that nobody objects to them calling their, their sunglasses the best in the world means it shows they must be. I like the width. It's a very moment. good fit actually, width, depth, everything. Eye coverage is good. Good enough for driving, I believe. Definitely. These sides tend to come out a little bit more compared to the cable ones. Actually. And when you actually hold that one up, I'll show you. So as we hold it up, can you see how the side actually curves? It goes out and then back in. That's called a comfort fit side, whereas those are very, very straight. Any more 
more towards the mirror dupes. All right, we'll still keep both pairs there and we'll come back to them in a moment. So let's leave these here because you've dropped. Now let's try the Ray-Ban. These are the Ray-Ban Wayfarer. Um, the Ray-Ban Wayfarer is the most, is the best selling sunspec sun of all time. You'll find a lot on the market where they're copies of the Ray-Ban Wayfarer. They say copying is the best compliment you can get. Greatest form of flattery. Yep. Are you a bit worried about the lens size though? No, I wouldn't be worried about that lens size. It sits, you, if you can just about see your eyes in the mirror, they're very close to the middle of the lens. They're completely different to the two, so that's, yeah. I need a backup option. All right. So what I want you to do now, try them together and pick one of the two. I think this one. Definitely that one. Definitely. So we'll get rid of this one. So now that we've got two options, whether you choose one option or two options will be up to you. Um, but if I go through the lenses with you, the, the tints, uh, I've got your prescription written down here. So I'm okay with that. So what I want to do now is talk to you about the tints. And my advice for driving is to have polarised lenses. The advantage for the polarised lens, even on a dull day, the vision is much more precise. Um, the clarity is far, far greater and you can actually see a clear image through through the haze and a good example of that is using this just using this chart you can see here the clarity compared to the dull day yeah if it's for driving then it's a must i think it is it's certainly what i would be advising pairs then polarized yeah what i would suggest is um, we use the maui gym lenses for the maui gym um, they have their own designs they can actually do things like a mirrored polarized lens um, they can do quite a lot with the lenses that nobody else can do but only maui gym will glaze Maui Jim frames. So it's got to be. So it's got to be yes. Maui Jim. And you have got quite a big selection. And then we might as well use the Ray Ban lenses for the Ray Ban pair. The dark brown colour glaze. So you want them in a dark it. brown. Do you want it mirrored as well? No. All right. Just that. The maximum legal depth of tint for driving is allowing about 18% of light through. So if I do that as what I call the middle of the range lens for, for depth of quality, for depth of colour, um, then you can wear them for driving. Obviously you can't wear your sunglasses to drive at night, but for the daytime they'll be Brilliant. Okay, so I'll use right. those daylight driving hours, polarised with the dark brown, and that'll go nicely with the with the colour of the frame. Yeah. In fact, very similar to what you've got there. Okay. All right. And we'll do the same with the the ray bands. Let's have a look at the ray bands. The most popular colour for Ray-Ban is the G15. Have you heard of the G15 lens? The G15 lens is actually the only type of lens that will block out um, infrared light. That's actually the light you can't see, but it's the light that will do the most damage to your eyes. If you was in 
some of the um, foreign countries like Jamaica, places like that, they're very, very high on infrared light. Mm -hmm. And so the Ray-Ban lens then would be a must. Okay. So, but All right. is the fair. so if I give you this, there's quite a big style range of colours. Um, and you'll notice that some of them are polarised and some aren't, but it will tell you next to the tint. So I'm looking at a, a very black frame. So I'm not going to go for brown. Mirrored isn't necessary for driving. Not point. necessarily, no. For the benefits of polarised. You definitely want polarised. Whether you have it mirrored or not, depends. It will tell you on there whether that can be done mirrored or not. The gradients are interesting. Is that going to be a little bit better for when I'm looking down at the dashboard if the, the gradient is? Um, it depends whether you're going to be wearing the sunglasses all the time or just when it's sunny. If you're going to wear them all the time when you're driving, which is what I do with my sunglasses, then the gradient tint would be better because when it's a foggy or cloudy day, you want to still be able to see the dash. Let's go for the grey polarised then. Go All right. Effects, please. I think when I come in next time, I'm going to look for some transitions as well. That's a good idea. And you can see with the Ray-Ban lenses that you, you can get them in grey, brown and green. A lot of companies only do grey and brown in the transition lens. The green is the G50 we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Do you need to take any measurements? I do now, yes. What I want to do is measure your pupil distance with each frame and also the length to bend as well. So the length to bend is from the joint of the side to the point where it bends behind your ear. So doing the Norwegian first. Right, so what I want to do now is just about see your eyes, so I'm just going to measure from the centre of your pupil across to thank you. Just measure that again. I never took it as the one out PD then. So now it's from the centre of your pupil to your nose and across. That's 32 and 33. So the right pupil is 32 millimetres away from your nose. Your left pupil is 33 millimetres away. Now I want you to turn your head to the side for me. And I'm measuring from the point where I want it to bend to the joint at the side. And that's 98. And if you turn your head the other way for me. So that's the Maui Gems measured. The pupil distance will be exactly the same. That's just the side length. Yes, please. So if you turn your head this way for me. That one's 102. It's all about where the joint is. So if you turn your head the other way. That one's 101. I've got you 
description written down here as well. So what I'll do, I'll order these lenses. I don't use these frames, so don't be surprised if you see them back up on the display, because they will do. Um, they should take approximately 10 days from ordering. I'll order them today, so they should be here by then. What we'll do, as soon as the spectacles come in, we'll give you a call and we'll book you an appointment to collect your glasses. That's All fine. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. In the meantime, what are you going to do about sunglasses for when you're driving now? Have you got some at the moment? Or do you need something as a substitute? No, I've got an older prescription. That might not be up to standard for driving that. Right. So what I have got, I've got some over specs. What I intend to do with these, if you put your glasses on and try this on over the top of them, mm -hmm. If it fits, you can borrow these. When you collect your spectacles, you can give these back. But at least these will get you through with sunglasses okay. until that point. Thank you. Just try it on and just remember this will be over your glasses, but it will fit comfortably over them. All right. And what's the vision like in that? It seems slightly enhanced. That's a polarised over very, spec. It's very tinted. Yeah. But at least it will get you through. Okay, thank you. All right. Is that everything? I think that's covered everything. Right, so just a way to telephone call. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.